Hey there, movie buffs. Today, we're taking a stroll down memory lane to revisit the enchanting era of the 1960s, but this time with a twist of Hollywood glamour and a pinch of Tuesday Weld's sassy charm. Tuesday Weld is an American actress who often portrayed impulsive and reckless women acting out sexually. She was nominated for a Golden Globe for Play It As It Lays, 1972, an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for Looking for Mr. Goodbar, an Emmy Award for The Winter of Our Discontent, and a BFTA for Once Upon a Time in America. Since the late 1980s, her acting appearances have been infrequent. Born Susan Kerr Weld in 1943, in the bustling heart of New York City, Tuesday Weld's journey to stardom commenced at a remarkably young age. Her early foray into show business saw her as a child model and actress in television commercials, a path that would lead her to the glitzy world of Hollywood. By the dawn of the 1960s, she had already made her presence felt in the entertainment industry. Young Tuesday Weld photos Weld's performance in Rally Around the Flag Boys, impressed executives at Fox, who signed her to a long-term contract. They cast her in the CBS television series, The Many Loves of Dovey Gillis, with a salary of $35,000 for one year. Weld's mother was scandalized by her teen daughter's love affairs with older men, such as actor John Ireland, but Weld resisted, saying, if you don't leave me alone, I'll quit being an actress, which means there ain't gonna be no more money for you, mama. Finally, when I was 16, I left home. I just went out the door and bought my own house. Young Tuesday Weld Photos Weld began in television, starring in reflections of murder and F. Scott Fitzgerald in Hollywood, in which she played Zelda Fitzgerald. Weld attracted attention as a favored, out-of-control Catherine and looking for Mr. Goodbar, packing into her short screen time in Orgy, a divorce, a lot of alcohol, and two abortions, and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Later, she appeared in Who'll Stop the Rain opposite Nick Nolte and the ensemble satire serial. She said she preferred television. What I dig about TV is the pace, she said. Two weeks for even a heavy part, great. Too much thinking about a role is a disaster for me. I mean, let's do it, let's get it done. Young Tuesday Weld Photos in 1984, she appeared in Sergio Leone's gangster epic Once Upon a Time in America, playing a jeweler's secretary who was on plan to steal a shipment of diamonds. During the robbery, her character goads Robert De Niro's character, David Noodles Aronson, into raping her with her complicity. Young Tuesday Weld Photos Weld has been married three times. She was married to screenwriter Claude Harris from October 23, 1965, until their divorce on February 18, 1971. They had a daughter, Natasha, born on August 26, 1966. She married British actor, musician, and comedian Dudley Moore on September 20, 1975. On February 26, 1976, they had a son, Patrick. The couple divorced in 1980. Young Tuesday Weld Fodderson, October 18, 1985, she married Israeli concert violinist, and conductor Pincha Zuckerman, becoming stepmother to his daughters. The couple divorced in 2001. In court papers, Zuckerman quoted Weld as saying, why do I need to go to another concert when I've heard the piece before? And I can't stand the backstage scene. I don't want to hear another note. Between marriages, Weld dated Al Pacino, David Steinberg, Mikhail Baryshnikov, whose previous girlfriend, Jessica Lange, had been Weld's best friend. Omar Sharif, Richard Gere, and Ryan O'Neill. So, there you have it, a glimpse into the glamorous and tumultuous life of Tuesday Weld. Hollywood sure knows how to keep us on our toes.